your heart has its own natural pacemaker called the sinus node. It sends out regular electrical impulses that cause the chambers of your heart to contract and produce a heartbeat. If your sinus node doesn't work properly because of a heart condition, your doctor might recommend a pacemaker, a small implanted device that sends electrical impulses to keep your heartbeat regular. These impulses do not shock the heart, they simply do the job of the sinus node. Some pacemakers only function when they're needed, whereas others generate impulses all of the time. Thanks to your support, our research transformed the old bulky pacemaker design into a small, sophisticated device that is the size of a small matchbox and weighs about the same as two AA batteries. Julie is about to get a pacemaker fitted and is understandably nervous about the whole thing. She is given a local anaesthetic, so is awake during the procedure and notices some mild discomfort, but feels relaxed throughout. It takes around an hour, where the pacemaker is inserted under her collarbone and leads are placed into her heart through a vein. After being reviewed by a doctor, Julie is able to go home the same day as her procedure. For the first six weeks after having the pacemaker fitted, Julie has to take extra care with her arm and shoulder on that side, but it's not long until she can start most of her normal physical activities again. Julie isn't able to drive for a little while after getting it fitted and has to let her car insurer and the DVLA know that she has a pacemaker. At Julie's regular clinical appointments, her doctor makes any tweaks necessary as her pacemaker stores information about her heart rhythms. Julie notices some twitching when her pacemaker first sends electrical impulses so she tells her pacemaker clinic and they are able to change the settings to stop this happening. Julie has to be aware that magnets can interfere with a pacemaker, so she needs to make sure that she keeps any electronic devices, like her mobile phone, in a pocket away from her pacemaker. Julie also has to stand away from induction hobs and avoid travelators. And whilst it very rarely causes problems, Julie shows her pacemaker ID card to the staff before she goes through airport security. She carries her ID card with her at all times in case of emergency. Thanks to her pacemaker, Julie can continue with her life as normal, reassured that it's there if her heart needs it. For more information on living with a pacemaker, visit bhf.org.uk. BHF. Beat heartbreak from heart and circulatory diseases. Beat heartbreak forever. <laughs>